So we'll open Adobe Media Encoder. It looks like this. And basically, we're going to import the uh, video file into this window. We'll change the settings to match what we need for class. And this is how you can convert any video file at any other compression, any other frame rate, convert it to what we need to deliver for class. Um, so let's start with Dan's example. So Dan had a Photoshop timeline. So we're going to make sure to export that from the Photoshop timeline. So that will be render video. Um, so we'll just name this as test. And we'll export it at H264, and then it'll be at 12 frames per second. So we'll just export it the way it was animated from Photoshop, so we'll render that. Uh, that won't take too, too long. So then we'll find it now on our hard drive. So here is our .mp4, right? And we need to deliver it as a QuickTime file .mov for class. So we'll take that and then we'll drop it into Adobe Media Encoder. So literally, all you need to do is drag and drop here. And then now here is your format. So just make sure you can export at, at any uh, variety of formats. What we need for class is a QuickTime. And then we'll come into this link and change this codec to match what we need for class. So we'll find Apple ProRes 422HQ. Now, remember, Dan animated in a different aspect ratio than our 16 by, 16 by 9 delivery for class, right? So I said you can animate in any aspect ratio that you like, you know, assuming it makes sense for your concept, um, but make sure you're delivering it at 1920 by 1080. So, once you've set the proper compression, Apple ProRes 422, come down to these tabs, video, audio, you've got other options here. But in video, scroll down, and then we're gonna uncheck this box and unlink these proportions. And then we'll just manually type in 1920 by 1080. It's definitely not. Okay, I literally just did this. Um, oh, here we go. I think it was just a different view. Let me try this. Can you all see that? So if I set this, now it has sort of the black bars built into the top because I typed in the uh, pixel dimensions that we need. So now we'll hit OK. And then this is activated. Just make sure you are saving it to your hard drive. And then press this play button. It'll do its compression. It'll tell you when it's done. And then go to your hard drive. Here it is. If I open it with QuickTime Player, and then look at the specifications. Oh, you know what? I forgot to change the frame rate, so we're gonna do that one more time. So we can duplicate this. Control D to duplicate that. It's QuickTime, but let's go into Custom again. And here's 1920 by 1080, but I forgot to change the frame rate. So let's move this. Make this 24. There we go. So will it only work if you render it? Did, oh, you, did you drop a PSD in here? Yeah. Okay, so. yeah. So that's okay. not going to work. Yeah. Okay. So, yep, yep. So you have to turn your PSD into a video file before you can put it into Media Encoder. Um, so now I just exported that, converted that. And when we come here and double check, And then control I. Okay, so now it is correct for what we need for class. Um, 1920 by 1080, uh, Apple ProRes 42 HQ, and 24 frames per second. Um, so this is helpful um, if you animate in a different frame rate. 
Um, or even if you are using source footage, that's a different frame rate, and sometimes it's just easier to convert it to 24 or even to 12 um, so that you can use it as a basis for rotoscoping or what have you. Yeah, question? Uh, so even if we animated 12 frames per second, you're supposed to submit 24? Yes. Okay. That's not going to speed it up? It's not going to speed it up if you do it through Adobe Media Encoder. Okay. Um, it's going to turn it. It's going to convert it to twos, basically. 